That morning, on their way to check in on the recovering cub, Kim and Jules spot a rare and notoriously aggressive black rhino just 40 yards away. Most cameramen would be happy with a steady, clear shot from the safety of their Jeep. Kim has other ideas. I'm in the back, filming off the sticks. I'm thinking, I'll get the wide. Kim will get the tight. Kim gets out of the vehicle. I didn't even notice. He's wandering up to the black rhino. Black rhino are the perfect combination of aggressive defense and speed. You've got an 800, 900 kilo animal with a huge horn on the end of its nose, and that thing can move at 50 k's an hour. So you've really got to watch black rhino in the bush. As Kim frames his shot, the rhino makes a move. Often when you're looking through the viewfinder, things look a lot further away than they actually are. Has Kim misread the situation? I was thinking, well, should I jump into the driver's seat, drive up to Kim, rescue him, wave my arms, make a song and dance? But honestly, I thought, you know what? Anything I do now may harass the animal and force it to charge. And Kim's right there. When alarmed, black rhinos will charge anything that moves. Kim stands his ground. He has no choice. It's too close. I thought Kim was going to get flattened. I really did. I thought, here I am filming this thing, and I'm going to be filming someone getting taken out. At the last second, it's a sharp sound that deters the rhino from a full charge. That was you know, a little too close for comfort, eh? Hey? 